Igor Yorivich Bogdanov and Gregoire Grika Yorivich Bogdanov were French twin television presenters, producers, and essayists who, from the 1970s on, presented various subjects in science fiction, popular science, and cosmology. They were involved in a number of controversies, most notably the Bogdanov affair, in which the brothers were alleged to have written nonsensical advanced physics papers that were nonetheless published in reputable scientific journals. Early Years Igor and Grika Bogdanov were identical twin brothers born to Maria Maya Dolores Franziska Kolore Krakowska and Yuri Mikhailovich Bogdanov, an itinerant Russian farm worker, later a painter. Igor Bogdanov was born 40 minutes before Grika. They had no connection to, or involvement with, their father's family, and were raised by their maternal grandmother, Countess Bertha Kolore Krakowska in her castle in southern France. Bertha Kolore Krakowska belonged to the noble Kolorat family of Bohemia and was married to Count Hieronymus Kolordo Mansfeld, a member of the Austrian princely house of Kolordo Mansfeld. Her pregnancy by African-American tenor Roland Hayes caused her to forfeit access to her four elder children, to her palatial homes in Berlin and Prague, and also her reputation in European society. She tried to sustain her episodic relationship with Hayes after her divorce and his return to the United States, but declined his offer to legally adopt and raise their daughter, who became Igor and Grika's mother. Although the Bogdanov twins claimed to be descended paternally from a noble Muslim Tatar family traceable to the beginning of the 17th century, there is scant evidence for that. Genealogist William Adams Wright Wiesner observed, the Bogdanov twins claim that their father was a member of a princely Russian family. Other than a statement by Dr. Stanislaw Stuman, there isn't much evidence to support this claim. The journalist and documentary filmmaker Maud Gilliuman, author of L.E. Mystere Bogdanov, comprehensively examined the twins' account, noting it to comprise approximations and historical inaccuracies. She found that Yuri Bogdanov had gone to Spain as a young man, and, unable to return to the USSR because he would have been considered a spy and imprisoned, went to France and began a life of wandering from farm to Pyrenean farm before, in 1948 aged 21, arriving at the castle of his future mother-in-law, renowned in the Jairs for employing Slavs. Gila Human noted that the twins totally deny this sad odyssey. They explain that they have found proof that their father was the descendant of a prince, the right arm of Tsar Peter the Great, that according to them, Yora was a young artist he would have followed a solid training as a painter as a free auditor at the Beaux-Arts, and that it was there, according to the twins, who love romance, that a famous writer met in Paris would have introduced Yora to their grandmother. Guy Yaman's interview with the Bogdanov twins' godmother, Monique David, contradicted their romantic account, and established that the twins' mother, Maya, was pregnant with them at the time of her marriage to Yuri Bogdanov, who Countess Bertha Kolore Krakowska considered an unworthy match for her daughter. She chased him away, leading him to be absent from his son's lives until they were ten years old, and subsequently divorced from Maya. Besides French, they spoke German, Russian, and English. Their grandmother spoke several languages, as well. Television Shows The brothers began careers in television, hosting several popular programs on science and science fiction. The first of these, Temps X, ran from 1979 to 1989 and introduced several British and American science fiction series to the French public including The Prisoner, Star Trek, and Doctor Who, in addition to featuring musical guests such as Jean-Michel Jarre. In 2002, the Bogdanovs launched a new weekly television show, Rayons X, on the French public channel France 2. In August 2004, they presented a 90-minute special cosmology program. Academic Careers Grika Bogdanov received a Ph.D. degree in mathematics from the University of Burgundy in 1999. In 2002, 
Igor Bogdanov received a Ph.D. in theoretical physics from the University of Burgundy. Both brothers received the lowest passing grade of honorable. Bogdanov Affair In 2001 and 2002, the brothers published five papers in peer-reviewed physics journals. Controversy over the Bogdanov's work began on October 22, 2002, with an email sent by University of Tours physicist Max Niedermeyer to University of Pittsburgh physicist Ezra T. Newman. Niedermeyer suggested that the Bogdanov's PhD theses and papers were spoof, created by throwing together instances of theoretical physics jargon, including terminology from string theory, the abstracts are delightfully meaningless combinations of buzzwords, which apparently have been taken seriously. Copies of the email reached American mathematical physicist John C. Baez, and on October 23 he created a discussion thread about the Bogdanov's work on the Usenet newsgroup SciencePhysics.Research, titled Physics Bitten by Reverse Alan Sockle Hoax. Baez was comparing the Bogdanov's publications to the 1996 Sokol Affair, in which physicist Alan Sokol successfully submitted an intentionally nonsensical paper to a cultural studies journal in order to criticize that field's lax standards for discussing science. The Bogdanov's quickly became a popular discussion topic, with most respondents agreeing that the papers were flawed. The story spread in public media prompting Niedermeyer to offer an apology to the Bogdanovs, admitting that he had not read the papers himself. The Bogdanovs' background in entertainment lent some plausibility to the idea that they were attempting a deliberate hoax, but Igor Bogdanov quickly denied the accusation. In October 2002, the Bogdanovs released an email containing apparently supportive statements by Laurent Friedel then a visiting professor at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics. Soon after, Friedel denied writing any such remarks, telling the press that he had forwarded a message containing that text to a friend. The online discussion was quickly followed by media attention. The Register reported on the dispute on November 1, 2002, and stories in the Chronicle of Higher Education, Nature, The New York Times and other publications appeared soon after. These news stories included commentary by physicists. One of the scientists who approved Igor Bogdanov's thesis, Roman Jackie of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, spoke to the New York Times reporter Dennis Overby. Overby wrote that Jackie was intrigued by the thesis, although it contained many points he did not understand. Jackie defended the thesis. In contrast, Ignatius Antoniadis, who approved Grigor Bogdanov's thesis, later reversed his judgment of it. Antoniadis told L.E. Mond, I had given a favorable opinion for Grigor's defense, based on a rapid and indulgent reading of the thesis text. Alas, I was completely mistaken. The scientific language was just an appearance behind which hid incompetence and ignorance of even basic physics. The journal Classical and Quantum Gravity published one of the Bogdanov's papers, titled Topological Field Theory of the Initial Singularity of Space-Time, Ian Russell, assistant director of its journal's division, later issued a statement stating that we deployed our standard peer review process on that paper. After the publication of the article and the publicity surrounding the controversy, Mathematician Greg Kuperberg posted to Usenet a statement written by the journal's senior publisher, Andrew Ray, and its CO editor, Herman Nikolai. The statement read, in part, Regrettably, despite the best efforts, the refereeing process cannot be 100% effective. Thus the paper, made it through the review process even though, in retrospect, it does not meet the standards expected of articles in this journal. The paper was discussed extensively at the annual editorial board meeting, and there was general agreement that it should not have been published. Since then several steps have been taken to further improve the peer review process in order to improve the quality assessment on articles submitted to the journal and reduce the likelihood that this could happen again. The statement was quoted in the New York Times, the Chronicle of Higher Education, and Nature. 
Moreover, Dizite quoted Nikolai as saying that had the paper reached his desk, he would have immediately rejected it. The Chinese Journal of Physics published Igor Bogdanov's The KMS State of Spacetime at the Planck Scale, while Nuovo Cemento published KMS Spacetime at the Planck Scale. According to physicist Aaron Bala, all of these papers involved purported applications of quantum theory to understand processes at the dawn of the universe, but ultimately turned out to be a hoax perpetrated on the physics community. Not all review evaluations were positive. Eli Hawkins, acting as a referee on behalf of the Journal of Physics A, suggested rejecting one of the Bogdanov's papers, it would take up too much space to enumerate all the mistakes, indeed it is difficult to say where one error ends and the next begins. Eventually, the controversy attracted mainstream media attention, opening new avenues for physicists' comments to be disseminated. L. E. Mond quoted Elaine Kahn's, recipient of the 1982 Fields Medal, as saying, I didn't need long to convince myself that they're talking about things that they haven't mastered. The New York Times reported that the physicists David Gross, Carlo Rovelli, and Lee Smolin considered the Bogdanov papers nonsensical. Nobel laureate Georges Charpak later stated on a French talk show that the Bogdanov's presence in the scientific community was non existent. Robert Ereckel's official math signet review of topological field theory of the initial singularity of space time states that the paper is rife with nonsensical or meaningless statements and suffers from a serious lack of coherence, follows up with several examples to illustrate his point, and concludes that the paper falls short of scientific standards and appears to have no meaningful content. An official report from the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, which became public in 2010, concluded that the paper N.E. put en aucune fac en etre qualified a contribution scientifique. The CNRS report summarized the Bogdanov's theses thus, CES theses n-o-n-t pas de valeur scientifique. Rarement oration vu un travail cru habil avec un telly sophistication. Lawsuits On December 30, 2004, the Bogdanov sued CLETE Space for defamation over the publication of a critical article titled The Mystification of the Bogdanovs. In September 2006, the case was dismissed after the Bogdanovs missed court deadlines. They were ordered to pay 2,500 euros to the magazine's publisher to cover its legal costs. There was never a substantive ruling on whether or not the Bogdanovs had been defamed. Elaine Riazuolo, an astrophysicist at the Institut d'Astrophysique de Paris, participated in many of the online discussions of the Bogdanovs' work. He posted an unpublished version of Grika Bogdanov's PhD thesis on his personal website along with his critical analysis. Bogdanov subsequently described this version as dating from 1991 and too unfinished to be made public. Rather than suing Riazuolo for defamation, Bogdanov filed a criminal complaint of copyright violation against him in May 2011. The police detained and interrogated Riazuolo. He was convicted in March 2012. A fine of 2,000 euros the court imposed was suspended, and only one euro of damages was awarded, but in passing judgment the court stated that the scientist had lacked prudence, given the fame of the plaintiff. The verdict outraged many scientists, who felt that the police and courts should have no say in a discussion of the scientific merits of a piece of work. In April 2012, a group of 170 scientists published an open letter titled La Faire Bogdanov, Liberté, Science et Justice, des Scientifiques Revendiquent leur droit au blame. In 2014, the Bogdanovs sued the weekly magazine Marianne for defamation, on account of reporting the magazine had published in 2010, which had brought the CNRS report to light. The magazine was eventually ordered to pay 64,000 euros in damages, much less than the 800,000 euros each which the Bogdanovs had originally demanded. The Bogdanovs also sued the CNRS for 1.2 million euros in damages, 
claiming that the CNRS report had poured it in dollar onar, all our reputation et all our credit and calling the report committee a Stasi scientific, but a tribunal ruled against them in 2015 and ordered them to pay 2,000 euros. Megatrend University In 2005, the Bogdanovs became professors at Megatrend University in Belgrade, where they were appointed to chairs of cosmology and made directors of the Megatrend Laboratory of Cosmology. Micah Yovanovic, the rector and owner of Megatrend University, wrote a preface for the Serbian edition of Avant Le Big Bang. Yovanovic himself later became embroiled in controversy and resigned his post, when he was found out to not have obtained a PhD at the London School of Economics as he had claimed. This scandal, combined with the presence of the Bogdanovs, contributed to an atmosphere of controversy surrounding Megatrend. Personal Lives The Bogdanov twins, who denied having undergone plastic surgery, became known for their prominent cheekbones and chins. In 2010, the Sydney Morning Herald described the twins' cheekbones as so high and bulbous as to appear to threaten their owner's vision, adding that the twins' appearance at the Cannes Film Festival had caused a stir around the world. The Herald noted that the twins' cheekbones had become noticeably larger in the 1990s, and that growth in their lips and chins continued unabated through the last decade. According to former Education Minister Luke Ferry, a friend of the brothers, they had both received Botox injections for cosmetic treatment. The twins became popular internet memes, especially among enthusiasts of cryptocurrency jokingly depicting the Bogdanovs as all-powerful market makers. Their status as crypto memes was covered by several outlets upon their deaths, including CNN, Business Insider, and The Daily Telegraph. The twins went along with their meme fame, according to Business Insider, and said they predicted cryptocurrency in the 1980s on Tempsx. Igor Bogdanov had six children, four from his first marriage and two from his second. He married his second wife, Amélie de Bourbon Parme, civilly in Paris on October 1, 2009 and religiously in Chambord two days later.